Hey guys, it's Akalis, hope you're well, and in today's deck review, I'm reviewing the Bicycle Lumberjacks Unlimited and Uncut deck. This is such a cool deck, I love the idea of the Lumberjack deck. Um, I saw this before and it was it was just a really, really nice deck, there's a limited amount, there's only 2,500 decks, and I was lucky enough to get 821, so uh, 21, if any of you have seen the Vine, but a really, really, really cool deck. Let's stop me talking and let's get into the front of the deck. Okay, so first off it has a bicycle on the front there, and it has the Lumberjacks un Unlimited and Uncut deck. It doesn't have deck, it just has a tree on the front, so obviously the Lumberjacks cut down trees, so it has a tree in red, and it's a red and white box. On the side it has rope with a tree there and there, it has air cushion finish, made in the USA. And on the other side it has the identical thing, but here instead of having a tree it has deck 821 of 2500. Then on the but on the top it has two axes tied together with rope. Then on the bottom it has some corporate information and you know the standard stuff. Then the back design has obviously a tree there and there kind of sewed together with an axe going down the side and it has on the axe save save tree eat a beaver. So as you can see save a tree and eat a beaver so uh, there you go. And it has this little checkered pattern there as well and when you pop open the tab, it's also in there. And it's also on the flaps as well. And that's what I like. It hasn't just stopped like the design. It continues inside. It doesn't get inside, then it just stops. So then you get the rest of the card. So first off, you receive two jokers. And obviously, these are, uh, there's logs. And there is a beaver there and a beaver there. And it has save a tree, eat a beaver. One in red, one in black. So one in black, one in red. Pretty cool. And it's just made in USA. So really cool illustrations there. Then you get, let me move the camera closer to you, then you receive two different cards, you receive a double backer. Here is the back design, as you can see it has a nice white border with rope, rope not rope, what the hell is that? Rope going around, attaching to the axe there, and it has, you know, the same saying, with a tree there, tied together, and it's with this rope. So a really nice back design there. Then you receive this little card that has different tools, so you have like a tree, you have a pair of headphones, a saw, an axe, like the chainsaw, a hard helmet. All these different things in a little pocket and everything, so just all different things, and it's just sort of a back design there. So you could possibly um, just, I don't know if that's an avatar, I don't know if you can get a gimmick or anything. But then you get the rest of the card. So first off, with the Ace of Spades. So when you get the Ace of Spades, it has here, it has the United States Playing Card Company, and it has this little axe there coming out from the Ace, and it has an Ace of Spades on the axe as well. Quite a nice kind of simple Ace, but not a lot to it, with the rope there as well. So they're keeping with the theme. And also this is kind of looks like the, uh, as you can see, like the crown decks, and it's a custom font and custom the whole way through this deck. Then you move on to the next ones, and what I like about this is they all stick with the same idea. So, as you can see, same with the two, with the same, and they have this little line going around as well, like this kind of look like it's blurring. Continues with the three, the four, the five, the six. Continues the whole way through the different placements. Then you get the custom rule too. We have the Jack, Queen, King. As you can see, they're just different characters. They're holding logs or certain things. So this one's holding a log, the Queen, this one. And it also hasn't got anything going around. It's very plain. And I think plain and simple, it's very, that's what sometimes in. It's very abstract as well. It continues with the pattern theme, the Lumberjack. You know, this one's got a saw and some rope. Then you get the Ace of Diamonds, all custom Aces in this as well. The same idea of axes with the Ace with the rope. With the custom Diamond, as you can see there. Continues the whole way through. Then you get to the royalty, as you can see, they are basically the same but just different characters. Uh, this one is holding the saw, the queen is holding two logs this time, and the jack is holding one saw. And you can see they're just red, a really, really nice bright red, not like a dark one, a really bright one. Then we get the king, jack, and queen, as you can see, for the clubs. Same idea, this one's holding one log, this one's holding two saws that have clubs on it, and then this one has just got a an axe that has a club on it as well. And it continues with the clubs as well, with the custom clubs pips just there. And then the custom clubs, it looks like it's actually holding them. Then you get the King of Hearts that's holding a chainsaw, the Queen that's got it behind her, you know, her, 
her head, thinking she's cool, and then you've got the jack, also the rope going around him. Then the tens, as you can see, you've got the custom pips as well, and you continue the whole way through to the ace of hearts, that's also got a just an axe going right through it with a heart there as well. So a really, really nice, really, really nice, actually, kind of deck to it. First off, the, the way it looks, fa you know, fits the theme. Everything else, this deck is going to probably go in my top ten, actually, so I'm going to need to do an update of one of those. But let's get on to the handling of the deck. Okay, so with the handling, so first off for the dribbling, it's a bicycle stock air cushion finish, so as you can see, dribbling, it is able to perform a spring, very, very nice, a very slippery stock, that's one complaint I can make, it's a very slippery stock as well, I've noticed, and it keeps flying off everywhere, and it just, this deck appears to keep doing that. A fan with the deck, um, pretty good, but the pips appear to be quite far away, so when you do it, you kind of get a little bit cut off and they seem quite jumbo. But other than that, it's nice. Um, you get a rip shuffle. Does that quite well, actually. We can do a pharaoh. Performs a pharaoh as normal. Any other deck, you know, it can do that as well. And it looks really, really nice in the giant fan. No complaints there for the giant fan. That's one of my favourite things in cards is doing a giant fan. Okay, we can do a Charlie cut as well. You know, card production. Other than that, it's just an all-round nice deck. We can also do, you know, a double lift, a colour change, and also spreads are really nice for this deck. And it's just an all-round nice, kind of a simple deck. Um, lumberjack theme, but a nice one. So, all-round this deck, I'll give my personal opinion in the description below. A nice deck, good ratings I'm going to give this deck. One of my favourites at the moment. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, then why not give the video a big old like? And if you haven't already, why not click subscribe just up there and check out a previous video just up there. Some criticisms about this deck before I go. Um, I feel the pips in the corners are a bit too big so it's harder for when you do a fan because they kind of clunk up a little bit. Not clunk up, but they start to cut off and it doesn't look as nice. Um, other than that, it's nice as well. I think this was a pointless card as well. Um, I don't know why they did that. They could have maybe done a blank card or something useful, but this you really can't use. But... Other than that, a really, really good deck. Um, unless they're planning, you can possibly throw this on one of the cards, but it's a really, really difficult one. But, yeah, I'm not too sure what this one is, but it just it feels a bit pointless to me. If I'm, if I'm opening the pack of cards and this is the first time I've ever seen it, it's kind of just a waste of a card. So, that's my overall opinion. A nice deck, though, don't get me wrong, um, but a great deck to have to your collection. So, that's it, guys. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.